local one, Rutger Street. He, though, serving up a heaping helping of hockey. We have Spencer Davidson in the comments. Our hat back home, getting set to take on the Providence Bruins. It's hockey night in Utica. Spencer is standing by live at the Adirondack Bank Center, getting ready for puck drop. Spencer, good evening. Kristen, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, the comments return here to the autumn with a lot more to be thankful about ahead of Turkey Day and are now looking to give the fans here something to celebrate heading into the holiday. The team enters tonight on its first winning streak of the season and look to keep the good vibes rolling with another tough challenge coming up against Providence. Now Utica returns to the cozy confines of the Adirondack Bank Center in good spirits with two wins now under their belt after snapping their well-documented 13-game season-opening losing skid over this past weekend. The Comets broke into the win column with a hard-fought 4-3 victory over the Syracuse Crunch on Friday before following that up with a convincing 5-1 beatdown of the Rochester Americans on Saturday. It's given a team who has felt they were getting close a bit of a confidence boost and relieved some of the pressure that had been building over the past few weeks. But there's still work to be done, sitting 11 points behind Belleville for the fifth and final playoff spot in the North Division. Utica is still searching for its first win at home this year in a building the Comets typically enjoy success. But after exercising some of their demons on the road this past weekend, they are looking forward to getting back in front of their fans for some home cooking ahead of the holiday. They've been supporting us the whole time. Obviously, you, you, you can't be surprised when they're not happy with the way we're playing. But they're still showing up, and uh, we expect Wednesday night, given the holiday, it'll be a big crowd, and it'll be exciting, and hopefully the guys get out of that energy and, and continue to build on what we have going. It's going to be really nice to come back home and you know, have the fans you know, cheering for us and you know, try to get a, our first home win of the year. So, uh, you know, we, we obviously know that Providence is a really good team, and they play hard, and they have a lot of guys that have played you know, games in the, in the NHL. So we're going to have to do the same thing as we did last weekend, and... I think the biggest thing for us, for our group, is we're not satisfied with two wins. I think we're definitely a long way out of a playoff spot right now, but we want to just keep climbing up the standings here and try to get into a playoff spot. Obviously, a lot of games left in the year, but, um, you know, yeah, we're not satisfied with two wins. The Comets and Bruins drop the puck here tonight at 7 o'clock before an off day tomorrow on Thanksgiving. Then the team will hit the road for a tilt against the Springfield Thunderbirds on Friday and a rematch against the Bruins in Providence on Saturday. Now, coming up at 6, we'll hear from the Comets about what their expectations are for their first meeting against the Bees this season. Utica looking to extend its season's first winning streak to three straight games. Reporting live from the Adirondack Bank Center, Spencer Davidson, News Channel 2 Sports. Chris Send it back up to you. All right, Spencer, thank you. See you at six. Still ahead in this broadcast. Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Good evening. I am here live at the Adirondack Bank Center for Hockey Night in Utica. The Comets come into tonight getting set to take on the Providence Bruins as they are winless no more. They're looking to stuff the Bruins and gobble up another win before digging into the Thanksgiving feast tomorrow. The team enters tonight on their first winning streak of the season at two straight and looking to give the fans here who are starting to pile in to the odd something to be thankful for as they look to push their winning streak to three straight as they get started on a stretch of three games over the next four nights this holiday weekend. Now, the Comets snapped their 13-game season opening losing skid with North Division road wins over the Syracuse Crunch and Rochester Americans this past weekend. Now they return to the odd, hoping to notch their first home win of the season. As they continue to try digging themselves out of an early hole they created, they come into the night 11 points behind the Belleville Senators for the fifth and final playoff spot in the division. Another challenge tonight in their first meeting of the season against the Bruins, a team Utica struggled with last year, dropping all four games head-to-head. -head. The Bees come in a modest 8-7-2 and two, and sit in fourth place in the Atlantic Division with 18 points right now, but they have earned five of a possible six points in their last three outings. While their spirits have certainly been lifted after getting in the win column, the weight of the lengthy skid now off their backs, Utica knows that there's no time to rest on their laurels and expect a tight battle here against Providence. They're always just, from what you see year after year, they're a really strong defensive team. They don't give up a lot, so anything you get, you, can, you have to earn. Um, 
and on the flip side, you don't want to give them any easy offense as well. So it all comes back to game management. When you're on that losing streak, you know guys are, um, you know, just like you know holding their stick a little too tight, and that's normal. I feel like it's, uh, you know, when you're on a 13 game losing streak, it's it's not not easy. So just to you know get a couple wins and just get that confidence back, and I feel like you know getting confidence as a, as a player, but also the team. You know the team knows we can win. So, um, you know, it definitely uh, gave a lot of confidence to all the guys in the team. Part of what we were doing in the weeks prior was trying to create that amongst ourselves by not having also at the same time not having success during games, which is hard to do and something we were creating, which we managed to do. And I thought the guys did a good job of looking ahead, the process and all that. Now with a win, they actually get rewarded for it. And now it's not manufactured, right? It's, it's real. But like we said, after the first win, that's just one. They're all going to be that hard. Just because you win one game, it doesn't make the second one any easier. Well, they certainly made that second one look easy. A 5-1 win last Saturday against the Amherst. So how tough will the third be? The Comets and Bruins drop the puck here tonight at 7. Then the team hits the road after Thanksgiving for a tilt against the Springfield Thunderbirds on Friday and a rematch against the Bruins in Providence on Saturday. Utica looking to extend its season's first winning streak to three straight games. Warm-ups are set to begin here in just a few minutes. Puck drop in just over a half hour from now. And coming up tonight at 11, I'll serve you up a heaping helping of highlights. Reporting from the Adirondack Bank Center, Spencer Davidson, News Channel 2, Sports News Channel 2 at 6. We'll wrap up after the break. Sports Station, here's Sports Director Spencer Davidson. Good evening, everyone. Before you dig into your Thanksgiving feast tomorrow, we've got a heaping helping of hockey action for you as the Utica Comets returned home, fresh off of entering the win column for the first time this season. They hosted the Providence Bruins tonight at the Adirondack Bank Center, now on a two-game winning streak. It is hockey night in Utica. Comets back at the odd, looking for their first dub at home this year after snapping their 13-game season-opening losing skid with two straight road wins over the weekend. First meeting against the Bruins this year. Utica lost all four head-to-head -head last season. First period, two minutes in, Bruins enter the Utica zone. Patrick Brown centers it. Vinny Letary, former Ranger, right there for the redirect. And before the Comets even have a shot on goal, Providence grabs a 1-0 lead. Soon after, Bees get another chance. Fabian Lysel in front. Dawes with a pad save, then another on the rebound. Now, that'd be a big stop because the Comets would pick it up from there, midway through the frame. The captain, Ryan Schmelzer, sends it on goal. Brian Hallinan pokes it through the crease, and Joe Gambardella, back from injury, cleans up the trash in front, stuffing it home for his first goal of the season. It ties the game at one. Just over five minutes to play in the stanza. Comets rush back in. Adam Beckman's shot here is blocked. Finds Jack Malone, who snaps it barred down for a snipe. Put a little extra cranberry sauce on that one, and Utica grabs a 2-1 lead. Now, that'd be the score in the second. Comets on a power play, but big chance here for Providence. B's come in 2 on O. Only Dawes to beat, but the Comets netminder gobbles up the one-timer backdoor from Max Jones. What a save for perhaps his best of the 24 stops on the night. No goals in the second, five in the third, but three of them from the Comets, including a response just 17 seconds after Providence tied it. A happy Thanksgiving indeed for the odd faithful. Utica mashes the Bruins, winning 5-3. The streak extends to three straight as the Comets notch their first victory at home this year. So the Comets are now off tomorrow for Thanksgiving. They'll hit the road on Friday where they'll visit the Springfield Thunderbirds before a rematch with the Bruins in Providence on Saturday. In the college ranks, 